All right, folks, this video, we're going to assemble this here gaming desk, and uh, I'm going to have two cameras going. All right, let me get the second one going. So uh, if there's something that's missed in one, you may have to watch the other video. All right. Now, we have our uh, directions. So this camera, folks, unfortunately, is reversed, so I can see verify that everything's in here. Um, fortunately, this does not really help you guys that it's backwards. Um, but I do have another video where I did the unboxing and I call, I show this. So just so you know. All right. So we've got obviously a big table. We've got legs. Uh, first thing we're going to do, wow, the lighting in here is usually so much better for this, uh, the directions are poorly done. Oh, please install the product on the foam board inside the package filled with the surface from being scratched. No idea what the hell that is, folks. Oh, um, this is Vietnamese. Made in Vietnam, so therefore the directions are probably uh, from Vietnam for that matter. So, this would appear to be the bottom. Now, there's two of these guys, all right, two supports, and Oddly enough, folks, I have no clue. Um, so this leg attaches to this, all right? The question is, are these symmetrical? No, they're not. So there's one for left and one for right. And there are multiple fold patterns. Um, for which this doesn't line up. Give me a half of a great start here, folks. Um, okay, so oh well, it does. It does line up. So it's going to look like this, and we're going to use. Oh, let's see what hardware it says. An M6 uh, by 10 millimeter, all right? So let us put this down a second. We've got our bag of hardware here. You know, sometimes you get these and they're all separated nicely. Uh, in this case, eh, not too bad. Looks like it's part F. Um, Interesting enough, the other parts, because they have bars on them, um, that is, you have two parts, and basically they're called the same thing, which is a little bit goofy, I will say, but maybe it's actually easier for those of us that uh, don't quite think like that. All right, so these here M6 by 10 millimeters. We're just putting them in here. Um, hand tightening for now, folks, but uh, there is going to be an Allen wrench in there, so we'll get that out. Um, then you wanna flip this over and pop in two more underneath. Um, probably best not to tighten it too much before you do this so that the holes line up. Uh, okay, so there is a problem right there. This is not, the hole is not the right size. Um, Oh, 
Okay, never mind. So you're putting a screw in. Make sure you guys can see this. Screw here, screw here, and a screw here, right? The other hole does not get a screw in. The opening is so big that it doesn't help. So, needless to say, the directions did I call that out? Yeah, actually the directions do appear to call that out. So that was just my bad. My bad. So we're using the Allen wrench. Um, drop over this one so you guys can see it. Just tightening that up right there. And then we've got these two. Now normally I wouldn't carry my parts around like this, but um, yeah, you can see that. I do need to possibly raise the other um, camera up a little bit. I'm not sure whether you guys can see anything. Okay, so there's one leg. So basically, you just duplicate that for the other side. That's a pretty sturdy leg. I'll get with that. Um, oops, I need to push on this top of the camera a little bit then. All right, so probably chopping my head off, but that's all right. Nobody's gonna care in this video if you just if they can see my head or not. Okay, so folks. Now we gotta do the other side. Uh, I do have a screwdriver in my pocket, but I don't sort of think I'm not gonna need it. And it's actually getting a little warm in here. Apologize for those that don't wanna look at my white skin. But uh, it is what it is. All right. So we do do weightlifting stuff. Okay, so kneel down, and we are gonna put this guy in here. So you figure this is gonna go opposite of the other one, just like so. So I get all three screws in. Right, guys? And I, I'll be curious when I watch this video back from this camera um, how, how stupid this may seem for not having that video reversed. You know what? There's a way to flip video uh, with the cell phone, or not video, but uh, pictures with my Samsung Ultra cell phone, but video, it doesn't allow you to do that, right? And then there's software, obviously, that'll do it. One of the ones I have, but it's it's amazing how it's just not a, hey, mirror, flip. Um, you actually gotta put some effort in looking up how to do it. Um, maybe the higher end software gives you a to do it easy, but uh, not what I have. So I think this is going to work out pretty good. I think we're going to be able to honestly tie these legs together and then put the top on. Um, and then from there, we'll be good to go. Now, of course, I'm not going to edit this video. This is how freaking long this is going to take you guys to put together. Some of you might do it faster. Some of you might be slower. The reality is that uh, it's not a horse race. If you want to do this crap, I say crap, if you want to do this the right way, and that's the wrong way. All right, so we can put our feet on already, it looks like. Um, We'll just go ahead and do that now. So, you know, if this isn't on carpet, uh, notice that you have these feet to adjust in 
case this thing is not up to your liking as far as levelness goes. Uh, also, maybe you know you can make the, the desk slightly higher uh, if you put the if you don't put the feet completely on here, but we'll say all the way, like screw it all the way in, right? But it looks like it'd be kind of wobbly, so your best bet is all the way in folks it's just not not biting hard enough all right so we've got that we have completed uh, some steps where we not necessarily jumped around but we're on step two and folks we can put our desk on the floor it looks like um, I think it's going to be hard to see when we get to the desk so let's let's just use this table and that will also allow yours truly not to have to bend over because you know I'm getting a little too old to work my chair um, I apologize to those of you that have to look at my ass when I bend over anybody actually liked it let me know yeah we did just kidding um, all right, so we've got that ready to go. And, you know, this is a, you know, considering it's a cheap-ass desk, it looks nice. We know underneath that it is particle board with a real nice top on it. Uh, so it's cheap-ass wood, but it is a nice desk with a, a more solid wood veneer than um, you might get on some other desks. Now, for me, folks, if this happens to um, get me all my money back via monetization, then that was a win for me. If I don't, then uh, it is what it is. All right. So the part that was the foot, that was H, and now we're looking for G and I. So G is a uh, M6 by 50 millimeter, and then we're going to grab a washer, okay? So in our handy dandy bag, um, I, so there's only going to be four washers in here. I'll go ahead and grab all those out. Now, if you did enjoy the video, folks, please give it a like. Uh, if you didn't like the video, uh, and there's a better video out there, don't leave that comment down below, okay? We don't need to help out anybody else. Yours truly needs as much money as he can possibly get. All right, so it would appear that not all of these are getting washers. There's going to be three bolts. Three bolts go in per foot, but only two get washers. Um, does that make sense? Good question. Good question. All right. So, which leg is which? And this is going to be interesting because we are obviously... So the, pick, the sticker, folks, covers up the actual leg. There is some manufacturing quality issues I'm seeing. Um, interesting enough, you see a spot here and a spot on the other side for the structures to go through. So quite honestly, it doesn't look like it matters uh, at this point which leg is which. Now, I could regret that, and I have been known to regret these kind of things, but let's, um, let's see. So it looks like this would work this way. Maybe we'll just put one screw in. Because nothing worse than a bunch of freaking wood, all right? 
Now, one of the one of the ones they tell you to do a washer on is over here, right? And just make sure, folks, that uh, you could scratch up the surface of your washer. Well, this is the bottom, I guess. Nobody's really going to see it, but um, you prefer not to slide this thing around too much. And voila, we found the hole. Thank God. Thank you, Mercy. Having that problem, folks. Um, all right, so we're going to tighten this ever so slightly because I don't want to have to put a lot of effort into it if I put these on backwards. All right, so the other side, we'll go ahead and put one of these on. And got one more. Now, the reason there's no washer in the back is because there is another piece of metal over it, right? So, uh, and it looks to be thicker than the washer. But uh, the reason you use the washer, in case nobody knows, is to spread that pressure out over uh, where the opening is. Otherwise, you know, a cheap, uh, thin-walled tube like this, you will buckle it. So says the uh, degreed engineer. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put a few threads on this, at least. And so far, it looks, so, looks decent. Are these backwards, folks? That's a good question. Backwards. Um, so yeah, it does appear this thing points out towards the curved opening. That's good. Now, there is something here. All screws are tightened. Note the mounting direction of B. Okay, so the next part that goes on there is got to go on there a certain way. Ah. B. No sticker, folks. No sticker. Is there a sticker on this one? Okay, that's B. This is also B. So they're both exactly the same. Damn, folks, I look pretty jacked up and pumped up, don't I? Um, so, what they want you to do is this. They want it to sit flat on the table, or excuse me, on the underside of our desk. So, we can do that, and so it's going to look like that, all right? Um, what does that tell you? That we're looking, we're looking pretty good. Now, the other one is going to run across here. Most of the rest of our parts after that will end up on the other side, so that part's good. I think we're, I think we're feeling kind of good about this. Uh, what do we have left in the bag? We've got a lot of these screws. Um, and there are some nuts. So, I think what's going to happen is the nuts are going to tie in our bolts. Just make sure they, yep, it's on there. So I'm going to tie, I'm going to tie one of these in. Just be safe. Okay, so now not the best screws in the world, right? These are not locking screws. Um, and they only, so you're going to need a, you're going to have to use your Allen wrench and the little dinky wrench that they provide to tighten those down. Um, ooh, there is another interesting, another piece of hardware in here. Um, potentially a bag of spare parts. So let's go ahead and put this over here. Now I, I realize I am doing this somewhat out of order, but I just want to make sure that it's going to fit together. Um, 
Now that we've, we've done this and we feel confident about it, we're going to go ahead and finish putting this the leg, tightening the leg down. And once again, washer, bolt. And hopefully we can find the, the hole, folks. So this is not the easiest thing in the world. But it is maybe. Not, you're not getting a lot of threads on these, I'll tell you. Um, if you're you like more contact, you're probably not going to get it. So hopefully the third hole is in line. And of course it does not appear to be. Um, so if you were to tighten down the first two, you might get lucky. Now I found it. I left the first two relatively loose. And now we can tighten these down, folks. Um, wow, did you hear that? That didn't sound so, so great. Don't over tighten these, is what it sounded like to me. Like that is not a good sign. Um, So I'm not sure why I got almost the exact same desk. Maybe I wasn't paying attention when I bought this or the mere fact that I tried to save a little money. Okay, so we have one more washer, one more screw. That's going to go in this hole. Um, And then this screw into the back. Hopefully it lines up. Once it doesn't, then, uh, that's a problem. So I think it's it lined up. Hopefully you don't cross thread anything. And that guy's in. Now we're going to tighten these other two. Same sound. Hopefully that didn't crack, but crack something. <laughs> All right. Whew. So um, now over here we're going to use our wrench and our Allen wrench and just tighten these up. Now it'd suck if I had to send these back for any reason. But for right now, folks, it looks it looks pretty good. Okay. So Now, if you watch this video, hopefully, um, it would have been nice if I would have told you guys I was going to eventually get the close-ups, but I don't think this light is doing anything for us on this camera, so we'll shut it off. All right, so we have the other side to do. Um, and we have the other support. And we should be get enough flex out of those that we'll be okay. Um, I'm not putting them in just yet. All right, so 
Bill, finishing this up. Now I would rate this desk assembly intermediate, or not intermediate, beginner. <laughs> A beginner could easily put this together. Not to say you might not have a problem here or there. Um, as we found with other pieces of equipment. So my parents didn't have all these cats they have. I think I'd buy my dad something like this to be a little cooler. <laughs> Not sure where to put it though, but okay, so doing this left-handed. So that's good. Interesting enough, the same screw does not get a uh, washer on this side. So I think, folks, if you make it too tight, you could buckle the tubing. That's on there pretty tight. Oh, okay, now this B, folks, does it matter how it goes in? I don't think so. Um, so we're just gonna. I think we'll do this far one and then we'll switch the camera, I guess, for you guys. So we just want to get the screw in. Um, maybe better, you know, the way I have it angled because... Because why? Um, there's less things to bang your less things to get your knees on, I guess, that could scratch them up. Alright, so we're gonna come in with a two on this side. Okay, our best. Get that here. Voila threads on it. Then we're going to go across the other side. Well, no. I don't want to flip the cameras over. So the sensible thing would be to jump to the other side and get one in. But uh, get a screw in. That's always good, right? Um, all right. So that let's swap our cameras around I don't want you guys to miss the action and I'll have this probably on two different channels making barely any money now sometimes amazingly you'll buy something make these unboxing videos or an assembly video and it will more than pay for itself and other times you'd be like, yep, I made 20 cents. So, like case in point, there's a weight bench I bought. Crappy weight bench. It would have been good for my kid. Uh, he, I don't think he used it once. It cost 80 bucks. It has made a lot more than 80 bucks. Um, 
course, there's three video, well, me, four or five videos out there on the channels. And all right, so I'm trying to tighten these as much as I can without using the hardware or the uh, tools just yet. I think we'll skip showing you the other side um, just so we can save some time, but we're going to come in here and tighten these down. Oops, that didn't sound good. So there are some scary sounds for this to go. And we will, I guess we'll, maybe we will capture this. All right. I lied. We're going to capture this. All right, so that's in there. Now, we've got a pretty rigid structure, folks. I think, I don't think that if you have kids, that they're going to hurt this thing too much. Um, that's not true. They probably will be able to damage the hell out of it, but... Does feel pretty rigid. I'll give it that. This is where you probably want to have a second person. As strong as I am, this thing's not that easy to grab a hold of. Now it's easy. All right. So we got to finish this up. Set that camera there. Um. This one. Okay, now, these aren't like the other one where we had a nice uh, cover. No, they, uh, these are the same, same order. They won't want to go in that easy. At least that one took a little bit of effort. And voila, that one's in. All right, so that kind of covers up the Jeep part, the look to it. Oh, gosh, folks. We have these. Um, great. So, we have more screws left. And we'll need an Allen wrench. Um, I need all the crap in my pocket. So... You know, obviously we stopped following the directions a while back in this video. <laughs> I think, not that you guys should do this, I think this will be sturdy enough to put it on its side. All right. So when you have it in the other position, flat on its back, um, Oh wow, these go on the ends. Usually these things are like right in here, but we're going to have to put them on the end. And so that means that we're only going to be able to do this to one of these. Now, if you want your soft drink on the right side or you want it on the left, um, the box shows the soft drink on the right side. Okay, so 
Let's do this. We can, I think we can, we can flip this over and do the other side. Um, smartest thing in the world but uh, okay so do we not tighten one of these down folks this one does not feel very tight all right so this points out this is for your head thing um And the more I stand next to this, the less it feels like it's 47 inches. But four foot just seems like it's somewhere in between. Okay, so now we can do the final part of this. Because we won't break that off, but this one, this other one points out to the side. That's why I didn't do it first. Uh, and it appears, you know, when you're at the end of this, folks, go around and just double check that everything's nice and tight. Always a good idea to make sure it's tight before you invest in it for the long term. Some of you might understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. So at this point, you'd put the stickers on it if you want it. I think the stickers are kind of cheesy. So we won't be putting those on here on my, my desk. But... Uh, You know, there's the stickers. Uh, would they make it look any better? I think it makes it look a little too kid-like. Now, what I might do is take some spray paint to this bad boy. Some red paint. Do something to make it look a little, little cooler on the bottom. But there it is. Oh, uh, no. That's what it looks like, folks. I think you guys in this view can, can see it. It is what it is. And thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.